Hey guys, this is the non portable ant, and this is The Walking Dead Season 8 Episode 10, The Lost and the Plunderers. In the previous episode, Carl died, and Morgan went crazy, decided to start killing all the people in, like, all the saviours in the kingdom. They, um, he and Carol saved Ezekiel, and Henry killed Gavin, who Morgan was about to kill. So, um, that's about it, honestly. Um, <laughs> Halfway through this reaction, I'm going to stop and have my dinner, and then I'm going to come back and do the reaction. You won't know when it that is, but just thought I'd give you a little bit of info about my life that you didn't ask for. So anyway, let's just get on with the reaction video quickly. <laughs> Michonne. Hmm? I don't think I need an introduction to her. I mean, we've seen her since season three. That gun is going to come back and bite them in the arse. I'm telling you. Ah, uh, must be so difficult for Rick. He lost his wife. He's lost his son now. Oh, doesn't matter. He's not. He's keeping the gun. I mean, they're just sort of, like, everything's been destroyed. <laughs> right, what's the point of carrying on, really? Oh my gosh, do we need this right now? She's mad at the walkers. I like how when they, she stabs them, some of them just keep their facial expressions when they stab and then when they, when it gets pulled out, they like... Kind of funny. To me. Probably not to you. Oh, she's looking at the handprints, isn't she? Is this entire episode going to be about Michonne? Or is this going to be like every character? like, dealing with what's happening. What, what, what? Oh, she's trying to save it. I guess they, one of the last things of Carl and they want it to survive. Bloody hell, you saw part of his scalp just fly off. <clears throat> that window, just, just push it out, it's no longer needed. All that work to extinguish the fire and now they've just left it and now it's going to burn. No longer a safe zone. No, that isn't what Carl wants. He, he wants you to beat the saviors. He's just saying, don't kill everyone. Like, find peace. They have weapons, people. We can't just give that up. Why now? Literally, every single time he goes to Jadis, they team up and then she just leaves because there's danger. Saviors saw us there. They're going to be a target, too. They're probably already there. Rick's little one-eyed pride and joy played me. And Damn. now he's dead. That so kid. kid is built for this shit. Let me go out. Close not anymore. Well, Rod's got it for now. If I'm not running down Rick and company, where do you want me? Is he pointing at a chair or his boots? Okay, the chair. Enid. Here to ask for your help. Okay, that was fast. They've, you've just killed their leader. 
No. She made it so I had to do it. She made me kill her. And she doesn't believe it. Do it again. I'd have to. Your grandmother got herself killed. So don't make the same mistake. Just let us go. And we'll keep hiding them. And you can keep hiding. No. They live. Oh, I thought you were saying no. You die. If we win. We've taken everything else we could give. True. They stole you, you I mean everyone but they stole all their guns. I mean what else do they what else do we want really? Is Aaron like her adoptive dad now? Okay. I'll take that as a yes. Simon. Simon's getting a lot of screen time today, isn't he? We will be taking all your guns and ammunition. Not our view. No, it isn't. I have a feeling he's dead. But we currently have a need. <clears throat> there is remorse, you son of a bitch! <laughs> she let some emotion out. She's just punched them when they've given up their guns. I feel sorry for Jadis. <laughs> Standard message and delivery. Showed him and told him. Yeah, by killing 99% of the bloody... Negan. Group. Yeah, what is it? He's gonna want to replace his shoes. Jadis. Let's see how Jadis is doing. Get out. How you got in. That's not an option. Huh. These weren't heaps before. She can't help us anyway. Maybe she can. You're not giving her a chance. <clears throat> I hope she doesn't die. She seems like much like a stronger person than this. To me, at the least. Has she killed him? Go get yourself some shoes. You must be in fucking pain. How many people did they have? Oh, she's killing them this way. It's kind of sad, actually. She knew all of these people. Sorry for her. Oh, that's. Oh. Oh, that's not lovely. Hmm. All over her painting. Don't put. Go, don't go in. Turn the machine off. Please. Thank goodness. I was scared she was going to do something to herself. She still could. I would not drink it like that. I mean, I'd be scared to cut my lip open because you know that it could happen at any moment and you know it's probably going to be you. Oh, that was it with the Jadis. Her opening up a can of applesauce. <laughs> and Rick. I'm assuming that he's the final one. Shot above her head. I just wanted her gone. And he got bit. Mm. 
Do you get how Negan is having more or less a similar reaction to I, Carl's death? You failed as a leader. And most of all, Rick, you failed as a father. Has he walked further away from Michonne? didn't realise that that was the end. Anyway, um, that episode was actually, it was quite alright. I actually quite enjoyed this episode. Um, in this episode we sort of got, not in a monologues, we sort of got, we sort of focused on like each character at a specific moment. Like first we focused on Michonne and sort of like the aftermath of Carl's death and how she was feeling um and like she even tried to extinguish the fire on that thing that Carl used to sit on the roof of and well they sad, sadly couldn't save it and then we went over to Negan who like he and Simon were sort of talking and arguing about possible things to do next or something and then Maggie's um, gift <laughs> arrived and Dean was inside of it and well Simon wanted to kill everyone at the hilltop for doing that and well Negan tells him no. Um, then we go to Enid and well obviously she's just killed Natanya. I think that's her name anyway and well Natanya's granddaughter is now the leader automatically simply because well she's the granddaughter and well Enid like says like there's no point of killing them if because it's not going to make you feel any better and if their group find out they're dead then they'll have another group to have to fight off and they're not going to win because they don't have any firearms because well <laughs> Rick's group kind of took all of them and then Enid's going off to the hilltop to talk to Maggie and Aaron is staying behind to talk to the group. Um, then we went over to Simon who goes over to the garbage people and wants an apology and all of their guns. They give all the guns and well Jadis, um, she says that they're sorry, like they're remorseful. But then Simon doesn't believe it, kills two of the members, and then Jada sort of goes over, like, Jada sort of outbursts and punches Simon, and then everyone but Jada dies, and Jada is def left there to look at all the destruction that she has more or less put herself in to, and then Rick and Michonne leave her behind, and Jada watches as she blends all of her people together in a mushy thing. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> um, and she's sort of left there alone eating her applesauce. And then we finally go to Rick who has a conversation with Negan telling him that Carl is dead and what Carl wants. And Negan kind of agrees with him but also in a Negan way like, oh, like, this is why I killed your friends before, so, like, you can want to live, or something like that. And that being, um, and, well, basically staying with the deal and stuff, then it's easier than fighting against it. it and, well, Rick wants to kill Negan, because Carl's dead, even though it's not technically Negan's fault. So, well, it's not even technically, it's not his fault, really. And I wouldn't really say it's Rick's fault, either. Honestly, it is kind of Carl's fault by himself. He's the person that decided he wanted to save Sadiq. And, like, Sadiq told him to go away, and Carl was very persistent, and then it got to the point where it, there, where Carl got bit. So, it's all, like, basically it's all Carl's fault, which is a bad thing to say. <laughs> So, 
yeah anyway that was the walking dead season 8 episode 10 i'll be back for the next episode next week so yeah bye